Hello 3D designers, here we are in the Cricut Canvas space and in the last video we defined the score lines and the cut lines and we made sure that we attached them. You can see they're all attached and after we finish that process we're going to be ready to make it. So let's come to the upper right and click make it. And this is giving us a warning that uh, one of these images is pretty long but we have these really super um, helpful long mats, so that's not going to be a problem for us. So we'll click OK. Up here on Project Copies, please turn this uh, to 5. So all of these, and we'll hit Apply. All of these settings that we're about to do, when we do a duplicates of 5, we don't have to keep doing this over and over again, and it speeds up our production process. So we'll continue here. And you need to pick your material. We are going to be using one material, the cardstock. So just to make your life simple, come in to cardstock, select the 100 pound cardstock, and put a green favorites there. That's what we're going to select. And we'll accept the default pressure. In terms of edit tools, it defaults to a double scoring wheel. I think we're going to have one of each of these in the studio, but if you happen to be working with the machine with one, the single scoring wheel, you could come into edit tools, select single scoring wheel, and apply that. Now, on the machine, the arrow that's indicating we can load the mat says we're ready to go. Prior to recording, I put two pieces of paper on this 24 inch mat. Here it is loading. Now, right now in the machine, there needs to be a scoring tool. It's a wheel type tool. So I'm taking out the previous cut tool. That was the last operation that was done. I'm clicking in the scoring wheel. And now I'm going on the machine, The uh, this symbol, not here on the screen, but on the machine, this symbol is blinking. I'm clicking that button on the machine. beginning the score operation. What's cool about this is it's going to score four modules on two pieces of paper. So it's going to make our production process go a lot faster. And now I'm going to put in the cutting tool. Once I had the cutting tool put in, I hit the clicking cricket seat again on the machine, and now it's proceeding. And that's the cutting process. I just clicked the uh, arrow to completely unload the mat. And at this point, we will put in a new mat with new paper and continue repeating five times until you have 10 modules. Actually, it's going to be 20 modules. <laughs> See you in the Fab Lab.